I'm Joe Barrington and I am going to take you behind the scenes at the World Championships here. We've had so many amazing venues in Cairo over the years, of course the pyramids, but for this year we're at the uh, National Museum of Egyptian Civilization. It's an outdoor court and I'm going to take you through the uh, build up of the tournament and what's on offer. Uh, very, very exciting. Just to give you a bit of an idea of what's going on here at the World Championships. We always have a lot of juniors that come to these tournaments, particularly in Egypt, but this tournament specifically, what's so special is it's heavily geared towards all the youngsters, the future of squash. We've got an unbelievable kind of art and craft station. I mean, I, I feel like I should be bringing my own kids over here for what's on offer. We've got the big screen, live music, the bean bags to chill out in, but you've got table football, You've got all these arcade games. It's brilliant. It's really, really cool. And at the end of the day, the future of our sport are the mini people. And a very advanced advertising as well. It's all digital. So you've got these uh, fantastic images of the players, currently Tarek Moman at the moment, who uh, looks like he might be falling over, which is ironic. He's going to say he's one of the best movers in the game. But uh, on a serious note, there are digital images all over that are changing for all the top players and it's just non-stop promotion. So anyone that comes in gets to see, you know, who's playing and who these superstars are. So you definitely get that feeling of a, a continual superstar status, which is exactly what we're looking for. Mustafa Asal looking there, I mean, he, he does look the business, I have to say. He certainly looks the business in the tournament, but also in the photo, the Raging Bull, and he has got a massive fan base. What, what's really gonna fascinate me as the tournament goes on when he does come up against fellow Egyptians is how it splits. For me, I think he'll get the majority of the support because when he played last night, nearly 85% 80, of the audience were, were young kids, juniors, and they're all supporting him. What's really uh, different about the, the tournaments, the outdoor tournaments here in, in Egypt is the stands are very, very uh, set back. They're quite far from the court. So the referee vantage point is a lot further than when you're at the Tournament of Champions and certainly at uh, Canary Wharf. But you're looking at probably over nearly 1,200 seats. It looks like they're in a cinema or just about to go on a, an aeroplane. The seats are very comfy. It's always quite cool as well because you get um, a few faces from the past. A few goodies and a few baddies. <laughs> Consuming his uh, shawarma over there is uh, Kareem Darwish, who's the tournament promoter. He was former world number one. His nickname was actually the Dark Prince, which he loved. He would be two love up, probably 10 love up, and still take a stroke to win three love. So there's the tournament pro to enjoying his food. Walo Hindi, a blast from the past. Hitman Hindi, he's coaching Diego Elias and Amanda Sobi. And then this man who's pretending to be all shy, but he's not at all. He's very excitable, coach of uh, the Terminator. He's also doing a lot of work with a lot of players now. Thanks, man. He's not coaching his technique though, which is very, very beneficial because it was awful. It's a brand new court as well for this one. So you've seen the, the, the glass court at the other venue with the side doors, which is quite quirky. It's quite an old court now. It's over 15 years, but they've got a brand new court. CIB have uh, bought a brand new glass court. Players are loving it. It's very, very true. The floor's decent. It has to be a lot of wet mopping continually because it's so dusty here. We're in an outdoor court, the dust keeps coming and coming, so they have to keep wet mopping to make it secure. But the players have all said they're really enjoying this court. It's very, very true, temperature's decent. It's not too hot either, which is, uh, which is really useful for the non-Egyptian players who are not so used to playing in the, in the warm environments. We just walk along the, uh, the front seats now. Sarah Jane Perry, who's uh, looking uh, very, very cool in a in a mango top, just having a little. Is that mango juice? Yeah, I thought she'd. Um, I thought uh, Lisa Aikens being very helpful. She's offering a lot of nice things to everyone. She's a very generous girl, actually. We're going deep behind the scenes now into the TV area. We have to be sectioned off uh, for various reasons, but it's uh, freshly painted, quite strong paint. Excuse me. Lee, Drew, uh, sorry, Lee Beach, or I'm going to call him Lee Drew then. Overseeing everything as we're just about to kick off the program this evening. See uh, all the crew there. We've got uh, the Godfather, as he's known, Jules, who's taking uh, check of all the sound. He also helps build all the kit here. We have a second kit we keep out in Egypt, specifically for these events. Mikey and uh, Jules, and some of Jules's other contemporaries, 
do all the um, fixing up of the kit, repairing, tweaking. It's brilliant what they do. Gavin uh, is from South Africa over there. And Alex Hall, who will get a look in. Alex is doing a great job throughout this event. So this is where some of the main crew are. We've got more coming in for the TV days. Dan Dobby uh, behind us there, who looks like, he doesn't look like Dan Dobby because uh, I don't know who he is actually. I'm not sure who he is. And this is where the magic happens. Johnny Williams is Lisa again. It's the fifth time we've seen Lisa this evening. Johnny Williams, who's doing his, his preparations to make sure he gets all those stats wrong. And Lisa is going to be kicking off with Johnny tonight. Uh, no swearing, Johnny. We're on camera. He's an Aussie. But uh, again, unbelievably, it was freshly painted again today. And it is very, very toxic. Uh, but anyway, this hope you enjoyed our... I'll walk around. We're going to be doing a little bit more with the museum to give you a bit of a guide to that because it's an outrageous museum. I'm really excited about that. Tonight, squash will be blister. Uh, hopefully, will be blistering. We've uh, seen some light on the ground matches, but I've got a good feeling about tonight.